Speaker, in March I raised a concern that rural Albertans were not being included in the conversation around Bill 6. Agreed. I asked the Agriculture Minister why meetings weren't taking place in rural Alberta and why meetings were taking place while seeding and calving were occurring. The Minister of Agriculture promised me they would be going out and talking to Albertans. Well, we foit the feedback on Bill 6 and, Madam Speaker, it wasn't pretty. Uh -oh. To the Minister of Agriculture, are you now ready to start listening? Madam Speaker, uh, 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 thank, you, thank you for the question. Um, I think it was a question. You know, our information from the survey, there was a lot of options we looked at. We've landed on the option we think made the most sense, made the most sense for the industry, made the most sense for the workers. Going forward, I'm looking forward to the consultation process getting started. We are listening to those producers and the workers, knowing that they are busy times, a lot of finishing up their calving season now, a lot of already started season because of the, the warm spring that we've had. Looking forward to the consultation process, making sure that we start them when, when, the, when the most are available. Thank you. Here, here. With respect, Madam Speaker, your listening skills aren't better here than they are out there. <laughs> Given that the concern of the farm and ranch workers is that they haven't been consulted at all Zero. about this uh, uh, governed by this government, and given all their worries about this legislation and the yet-to-be-seen regulations, which they say will have a significant negative impact on their lives, again to the Minister of Agriculture, and I hope you're listening, this what time. steps will you be taking to repair the relationship with Alberta farmers that has been so damaged by this process? Thank you, Madam Speaker, and the member for the question. Uh, you know, I would, I would disagree with that the relationship has been so damaged. We've had very good conversations with producers. The producers themselves have formed an ag coalition where I've had very robust conversations with them. I would like to remind the, mem the member that this, this legislation that we're looking forward to, the recommendations from producers, the legislation itself, the recommendations will go to regulations to help workers. It's important to remember that legislation has helped the workers and farmers and ranchers in cooperation with the farmers and ranchers themselves that were, were able to know the industry, able to get that important information. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Okay, Mr. Speaker, given that in March, I asked that question about the consultations that you were doing on Bill 6. You had an opportunity to observe the process and, and see the farmers and ranchers' feedback and the concern that rural Alberta has, it seems that your government has turned a deaf ear to oh, yeah. their concerns. Exactly. Exactly. We have seen this in the FOIP documents. Again, to the Minister of Ab Agriculture, how are you going to incorporate the feedback from these concerned Albertans? And are you listening at all? Honourable Minister. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and the member for the question. I'm going to assume that she's talking about the occupational health and safety recommendations that we're going to be looking at for the consultations uh, that's yet to take place. I'm really, really looking forward to that input. We're going to have upwards to 72 different members, interested workers, experts in the industries, farmers and ranchers on those technical working groups, looking forward to the recommendations, recommendations that we're going to use to shape the actual, actual legislation as we go forward. Thank you.